Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. Guys, in this video, I'll be exploring two topics. One is called literal, one is called type inference. Let's get started. The very first topic is literal. So literal is used in all the programming languages, which meaning is a constant whose value will not be changed in a code, right? It is called as a literal. So we can define like this, a value which is written exactly as it's meant to be interpreted. This is called as a literal and it is opposite to a variable. So in this case, we are having some examples of literals given like hello world is my string literal, five is my integer literal, a is my character literal. Let's explore the types of literals. The very first type is a string literal. In this case, you can see the hello is written, uh, which is surrounded by the double quotation marks. So it's hello is my string literal. Next, we have an integer literals, which are used with the data types, which are long, integer, short, byte, right? And it comes in a two different form, decimal and hexadecimal. So in a decimal, we represent like 245. This is my decimal uh, one, and this is 0x05, F5, because we always prefix the hexadecimal with the 0x. This is my, both are the example of integer literals. Then we have a floating point literals in which we have rep represented in a, with the data type called double and float. Right, and a float, this is the example of float, 1.2345F, and double is my 1.2345E4. So these are my examples of floating point literals. Then we have a character literals, and these are used with the type which is char and made up of a single Unicode character surrounded by a single quotation mark. So a capital A is the example of character literals. So this is the this is all about the literals. Then we have a second topic for today, which is called type inference, which I already have talked about in an introductory video of Scala. It's a Scala's ability to infer types when not specified by user. This is called type inference. In all the previous slides, you must have noticed that in every where we are specifying type, like here we are specifying care, here we are specifying float, double. It means we are specifying type while writing the query, but we don't have to because like this is the sample query, like in which we are specifying string, string integer, we can convert this to this syntax. So uh, the, generally we use a syntax like keyword, space, variable name, call and data type equal to initial value, but this has to be changed to keyword variable name equal to initial value because Scala know the type well. So this previous, uh, this example will become this, this one in which there's no specific uh, specification of the data types. So in this case, there's no string available, no string available, no integer available. So this is called as a type inference. I hope you must have understood the concept of literals and type inference. Rest I'll discuss in next video. Thanks for watching guys.